That's right. Oh, and it's just dropped off. Hello and welcome to the Slippy Limpets video. We are down on the rocks tonight uh, with my mate Phil and as ever we're chasing for cod or, or anything tonight actually. Um, conditions are terrible uh, for, for cod fishing. There's a tiny little bit of swell which is nice um, but it's, it's very very flat relatively speaking so we are out on a relatively, well, it's not actually deep water but it's, it's really rough ground. Um, we've never fished here before, or we might have done years and years ago, we, we just kind of remember. We're just about to hit low tide and then we're going to uh, fish the tide back up. Phil's just setting out a bait now. I've got one out, uh, which has had about 10 minutes in the water. I'm going to bring it in in a few minutes, see if there's any bait left. We've had quite a good few knocks and I think they're just coolies, so um, we'll also see if we can get the rig back because it is, it is rough. Well, I managed to get my whole rig back, but I noticed a nick in the 80 pound um, rig body. I'll just give it a gentle pull and yeah, snapped. Did manage to catch a limpet. We'll get a new rig on and uh, get another bait out. So there is the next bait. Uh, just, I think there's four or five tiny little blow lug on there and one frozen black just to bulk it out a bit gently whipped on because I don't want uh, all the juice from the live bait to uh, to come out and I've just got a single four row on this um, mainly because the ground's so rough uh, I don't want the second hook a chance of snagging us up so uh, I've swapped over to a pulley rig Past previous one was a Pennell uh, Paternoster um, this is 80 pound um, snood length and 80 pound rig body and a rotten bottom with 6.0 6 oh, yeah, 6 ounce uh, lead. Let's see if we can get a fish on it. I think I'm parallel with the shore there, like. Well, it's one left, like. Definitely went left. Oh. Bait number two in the water. Wanted to go slightly left, but I've cast I don't know, past 45 degrees to the shore. So it's probably about 10 metres out and uh, trying to get it back across this rough ground is going to be next to impossible, I would say. Not without some tackle casualties, but it's in the water. I'll give it 10 minutes and if, uh, if nothing's doing, then we'll just have to recast. Oh, that was a good little rattle, that. Yeah. Oh, it was a good little rattle, that. I felt it. I felt the fish when I lifted into it and instantly snagged. Well, I'll give it a bit of slack and see if we can lift it out. Give that a couple more minutes. Oh. 
Got some interest in this bait again. You can feel something rattling around, but I don't know what snag. It's either a single hook or my lead. I mean, it's a pulley rig, so... With a rotten bottom on, so my leg should just come out. Oh, that was a good hit there. Gonna be patient. Not just hit it. As well. I'm going to try and get this back, I think. Oh. Oh, Jesus. I think I've still got me lead. So far anyway. Yep. Oh. Well, I did have until I hit the shore. The lead came off on the shoreline, so I've managed to get that back. Rotten bottom gave way. And a four-row Viking. Mustard Viken is bent and out, but the beauty of these is you can just bend them back into shape. There we go. More bait. Just a gentle one there. Oh, that was a knock. Come on, come back. Take a coolie at the minute. Well, that was the first positive rattle in ooh, 10 minutes. It was definitely a coolie, else it would have come back. It, it, it was the codlin, it would have come back. The shows I've shown short might not have actually been worthwhile this time around. Well, I've had two little rattles on this truck. One of them was quite a strong rattle, but it's just a little a coolie or something. It's not a cod. We were just saying, I think it's going to be a slow night, but if we do get one, it might be a good one. But um, I'm going to try and bring this in, see what damage there is to uh, rigs and things. Doing so well, winding as fast as I could. Try and keep on the surface and away from all the snags. Oh, I've still got my lead. <laughs> well, hard. Got everything. Awesome. Bait's completely stripped in 10 minutes. Typically, I was just putting an extra layer on because it's, it's the coldest, coldest night we've had so far this year. I think it's about six degrees. I was going to put my final layer on. Camera wasn't recording. I just missed a cracking bite. I say cracking, it's relative to what we've had so far, but it's still a bite. It's not coming back. Oh, so I'm guessing it's still a coolie. Oh, hey! Wow, 
What? How come I wasn't even snagged? Oh. Missed that, but I found some clean ground. <laughs> it's been in for three or four minutes, so it's a good sign. And we didn't have to pull through any snags either. If I did, it's tiny. Oh. <laughs> ah, it's off whatever it is. Oh, I had a little fish on there. Slow down foolishly to stick my head torch on. I don't know why, because I don't even have a head cam on anymore, but uh, well, not tonight anyway. I don't need to have my head torch on but um yeah I went straight into a snag this hook's been bent out like three or four times now so I'm impressed with the mustard it's a mustard uptide or viking uptide I've been using cox and roll recently and um, they're sharp but as soon as I touch a rock they just dull straight away but these are keeping their uh, keeping their sharpness even when they're getting bent out So we're getting pushed off this piece of rock. There's a gully behind us that's kind of backfilling. Um, but we've been here a couple of hours and it's been pretty crap really. So we are gonna pack up and make a move and probably fish uh, the beach since there's a little bit of swell running, a little bit more swell than we're expecting. Uh, but it does have rocky edges. So hopefully we can still get into the rough stuff. Have 10 minute drive and away we go. Right, we're at Newmark, the beach. Well, it's tiny compared to what we were expecting. In fact, it's a ripple in comparison to what we were on. And it's a pretty clean beach, but right along the edges is like a plinth of kelp and there's a few big reefs that go out there. This is my first cast here. Um, I think Phil got snagged on his foot and he got a bite and got snagged. I've just had a pretty good rattle there and uh, calamity and then snagged so it's a good start we've had more fish reaction here i think than we had in the uh, previous mark and we've been here five minutes so may not be perfect cod conditions but there's fish around yeah, i'm definitely in the kelp bit of a workout. <laughs> Weed. Nice big messy bait for clear water. About 10 blue lug on there and uh, a frozen black. Just whipped down from the bottom bit. So I took that out as far as I could, which isn't very far at the minute. Um, the tide's really pushing in now, I think we're three hours after low, so um, this beach is quite flat, but then steep on this side like a stone beach, so hopefully it's filling up. Uh, I try to get that back to where I cast the first time into all the bladder rack and the kelp, but I don't think I've got the distance given that we've had to move back so far on the beach, but we'll see, we'll soon find out. Give this 10 minutes and uh, Hopefully one of us will get into a fish. Whoa, 
finally. <laughs> Little coolie. That's the first fish reaction to a bait I've had in about 20 minutes. I was just thinking that not even the crabs are there, so uh, I was going to bring it in, but I'm going to have to leave it now. Yeah, lost me lead. Well, that's all that's remaining of me rig. 80 pound um, rig body gone. Yeah, weird. Thought my hooks on my rotten bottom would have gone first, but oh well. It is uh, half 11. We've been fishing for hmm, six hours. And we've had a few bites, caught nothing. Um, so we're going to call it. Phil's got a nice can of beer in the fridge at home and I've got the same. So uh, we're going to uh, yeah, wrap it up. I'm going to liberate the spare worms that I've got, repopulate this beach. And uh, I hopefully get out again soon and get some fish because this, this is the first blank of the, uh, of the winter season for me, which isn't great, but it's part of fishing. So I'm going to say it anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up and please leave a comment and until the next one, as always, tight lines. thought that was my camera making the noise. <laughs> <laughs>